Okay, so today is a good day for a number of reasons. First of all, uh, it's actually quite nice and sunny here in London, uh, not that you can tell. I'm near no windows whatsoever. Um, second of all, I had pizza for lunch. And third of all, uh, my map looks ready. I'm gonna go pick it up, so let's go. Done. Here it is. It looks a bit bare. It looks a bit bare and weird when it's um, like that. Anyway, um, let's stick this back on. Oh, look, I even dressed for the occasion. Now, as I kind of alluded to uh, when I dropped off the MacBook, I hear so many people complaining about how they get terrible service and oh it's awful, oh I push you do better, they have all this money, blah 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 and I never get that. I just turned up, gave me ID and they were like yeah that's you definitely, yeah it's, it's, I mean your hair's a bit shitter than it was when you had the photo done but yeah it's definitely you. Gave me my MacBook, made sure it was working and then they sent me on my merry way with an email receipt. Simple. And while I'd love to think that it's because of my infectious northern charm that I do better at Apple stores than other people, uh, it's not. It's got nothing to do with that. you just got to follow the simple steps. So because I'm feeling in a very giving mood today, uh, here are my three top tips for how to get the best service at the Apple store. Number one, no matter what, no matter what, it doesn't matter who you are, what you know, if you're an expert or complete beginner, don't just walk into the Apple shop. I can't stress this one enough. They have a proper booking system, and if you're not in that booking system, you go to the back of a very, very long queue. It's never going to work out for you. Now you can go on the website and you can book an Apple Store genius appointment thing, if you want. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Unless you've dropped your phone and the screen's cracked and it's like, I need a new screen, it's my fault, blah blah blah, etc, etc. That's fine. Book a store appointment, to take it in, they'll be like, yeah, it'll cost you 80 quid or whatever it is these days. Done. Anything else? Anything that, uh, any software problems, anything to do with your Mac, if you think there's like a fault with the battery or blah, 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 anything, anything, anything like that, don't book a Genius Store appointment, not just yet. Your best bet is to call Apple Customer Services, or actually let them call you. On the same bit of the website where you'd normally book a Genius appointment, there is a little button that you say, oh, let us call you and we'll sort it out. Now, you may be really tech savvy, you may know exactly what the problem is, you think, oh, it's this, it's this, it just needs someone to do this or this, fine. But if you go straight to the genie store, they don't know how clever you are. And even if you say, I'm very clever, they probably won't believe you because everyone says they're clever. People think that they know so much and they don't really know that much. So the Apple Store geniuses are gonna go through all this big rigmarole, blah, 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 and it's gonna take about nine years to get there. Whereas if you talk to someone on the phone, you can say, look, I've seen this, 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 and this, and they're like, oh, take you through this step, take you through this step. Even if you already know the steps, just go along with it. It doesn't take long. They don't labor the point or anything like that. Blah, 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 blah. Sometimes they can fix stuff over the phone. If not, then they'll book you in uh, for a genius appointment right there and then. Here's the thing. When you do it over the phone, they log absolutely everything that goes on. So they eliminate so many kind of possibilities with faults or go through all the steps and they eliminate all of that so that when you go into the Apple Store, that's already done. They can just do the advanced bit. You can literally walk in, they can look at the log saying, oh, right, this is this, right, let's do this. You're in, you're out, kablamo. So you're spending a little bit more time at home with a cup of tea, your home comforts, maybe the television on in the background, instead of queuing up in an Apple store, waiting and then like you get distracted by the Apple Watches and then all of a sudden you're like 400 quid poorer. But that's not me, That I haven't, I haven't bought one, promise. Very close though. When this packed in and I rang them up, he was like, okay, let's go through the steps. He did the, the turning it on with R on, turning it on with shift and command and all the, you know, all the bloody things. And he was like, right, so it looks like it's going to be part of this recall program. I'm going to put that on your file so that when they take it into the Apple Store, they're not going to mess you about and make you do all of that stuff again. They're just going to literally, they plug like an Ethernet, a Cat5 cable into your thing. And then they just kind of like, blah, 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 blah. And then it just kind of checks the video card and said, yeah, the video card's broken. So it took like 30 seconds for me to be in. Blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, right, it's this. Blah, 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 blah. 
Right, okay, cool. We'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll replace the part. There's a new logic board or something they have to do. And then that was it. And there was people standing around there, like, complaining about, oh, his battery life's gone, and blah, 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 blah. Like, even, like, really tiny trivial things. Like, my entire computer was broken, and there's people talking about tiny little trivial things that have been, like, there for, like, f like nine hours or so. Okay, so I know I've gone a bit, like, long-winded around saying that, but don't just walk up to the Apple Store. And in most cases, don't just book a Genius Store appointment and come in with all of your problems. Call the support team, get a proper file going, so that when you do have to go in the store, they've got that file and they can work with you so much quicker. Tip number two, if you are going to the store, you'll get an email saying, oh, come into the blah, 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 this is your store, blah, blah, blah. Things to do before you come. A lot of these will be back up, um, maybe charge it, give it some power, blah, 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 whatever. Please do what it says, man. A lot of the time, they'll just ask you to back it up, right? And if you don't back up your phone or if you don't back up your computer, you take it in and then they realize, oh my God, it's such a bigger job than they thought it was gonna be we're going to have to replace the hard drive, we're going to have to replace the phone, we're going to have to replace blah 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 blah. And you're like, holy shit man, all my like sexy text messages to your Mars mate have been like, they'll be wiped, they'll be gone. And you'll be like, oh shit, I should have backed up, should have backed up. It's not hard, right? So, you don't have to do, you don't have to pay for the iCloud storage if you don't want, because obviously the iCloud storage they give you is pretty minimal at best. Um, Google Drive has a lot more space, uh, Dropbox has a lot more space, and you can back up things to those services if you want, you know? WhatsApp, uh, you can do backups to Google Drive. Um, if you're worried about photos, then the Google Photos app is really good because it pretty much does unlimited uh, photos, uh, up to eight megapixels, which is quite a few megapixels. It's actually the pixelage of my camera. Uh, phone so and once you kind of siphon off all of them then things like where your apps go and like your saved passwords for Safari and stuff like that that'll fit on your normal iCloud backup so then you've got everything backed up with this just get a memory stick or a hard drive or something it's not it they're, they're so cheap these days and it's totally worth it okay just do it when I had to get my phone replaced if I didn't have a backup I'd be screwed because I just have like a new phone and all of my texts will have gone and all of my photos will have gone and all of it and I would have just been like oh sh where's my life gone for the past three years gone because that's where the, the life's on the phone isn't it like all your cameras all your videos all your things are all on here so back it up you idiot and finally number three um this seems quite this seems like an obvious one but I, I, every time I go in there people don't seem to get it um Please turn, turn up on go turn up on time, man. When you get your confirmation email, it'll give you a time, and it'll also say be there ten minutes before. Please be there ten minutes before. I'm not gonna lie, they do get busy in there. They they've got a lot of people to get through. So if you just start turning up late or five minutes after your appointment or like bang on time for the appointments, not too bad actually. But the best thing to do is turn up ten minutes early, be one of the first ones for your time slot, and then you get served within like the, the time that you're supposed to be served within. So yeah, that would be my three tips on how to do better when you go in the Apple shop. Or even better yet, buy a PC. Like then where'd you go? PC World? Have you ever been to PC World? Have you ever actually to oh mate. Oh. Oh. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you do feel like being an absolute babe, there's a little subscribe button there. Um, it would be cool if you used it, because ever since I started doing these daily videos, I've lost like four subscribers, which is, isn't the best sign. So if you do like them, and you're not on there, then click on the eyes. Um, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm trying here, I'm really trying, so. All right.